time and harvest sun, moon and stars in their courses above join with all nature in manifold witness to thy great faithfulness mercy and love great is thy faithfulness great is we thank you lord this morning because great is your faithfulness great is your love great is your mercy toward us oh lord and just like your word says in nahum chapter 1 verse 7 said the lord is good yes lord you are good a refuge in times of trouble he cares for those who trust in him. Hallelujah to your name this morning, Father. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the many blessings of this life. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for our health. We thank you for the strength that you have given to us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, our God, for all the wonderful joy we have received. Oh, gracious Father, we thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to serve you, Lord, to be called of your own, Father. We thank you for all the blessings lord thank you father lord for the glorious beauty of this world that we live in lord we say thank you our lord and our god for helping us oh lord to remain in your power because it is your grace oh lord that have sustained us to this very hour lord we thank you thank you lord god, our god lord we thank you this morning for you have broken the gate of brass and you cut the bars of iron in sunder hallelujah to your name oh lord this morning thank you our lord and our god we thank you our father oh lord because you have broken the bonds of sin and brought us to fellowship with you thank you mighty father thank you our lord and our god that is why we can come before your throne this morning lord god almighty with boldness with confidence oh lord to receive mercy to obtain it and find grace in your presence oh gracious father we thank you so, Father Lord, this morning, let us pray. If there be any sin in my life, Father, that will hinder me, Lord, this morning, I'm asking you that you will forgive me, Lord. I acknowledge before you, Lord, all my sins, all my iniquities, they are all before you. And I'm asking, Lord, for forgiveness this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, forgive me for my unsatisfactory usage of the talent that you have given me, Lord, for hiding this talent under the bush, Father, 
Father, Lord, forgive me for unprofitable avoidance of necessary duty. Oh, gracious Father, Lord, forgive me of my jealousy of those whose lot are easier. Lord, forgive me, Lord, this morning. Oh, gracious Father, for any evil thought that I've entertained in my heart. Lord, I ask for forgiveness this morning that you will forgive in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and Father, Lord. Let us pray that my Lord deliver me from any false reliance upon my own strength. Oh, gracious Father, Lord, deliver me from any false reliance upon my own strength. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, deliver me. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray that, Lord, order my steps. And let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Gracious Father, Lord, order my step and let, let do not let any iniquity have dominion over me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, gracious Father, Lord, this morning deliver me. Order my step and let not any iniquity have dominion over me in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray that, Lord, set a watch on my mouth. And help me to keep the door of my lips in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, set a, set a watch on my mouth. And help me to keep the door of my lips in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, set a watch on my mouth, O Lord. And help me to keep the door of my lips in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. Father, Lord, guide my footsteps in the way of eternal life in the name of jesus christ heavenly father guide my footstep in the way of eternal life in the mighty name of jesus christ in jesus name amen father in heaven blot out all my transgression and wash my sins away with the blood of jesus christ i have confessed it as your word says that we should confess and have confessed it your word affirmed that if we confess our sin you are faithful lord to forgive us to cleanse us from all unrighteousness and i thank you father lord because I have received forgiveness in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Let us cover ourselves this morning with the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. So I cover myself and my household, my children, my grandchildren in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak my life in the blood of Jesus Christ this morning. I soak my life, my children's life, my grandchildren's life, my son-in-law, my daughter-in-law, every member of my household. I soak their life in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. And I sprinkle the blood of Jesus over my environment in the name of Jesus Christ. I sprinkle the blood of jesus over my environment in jesus name amen i hold the blood of jesus against any power that is already poised to resist me this morning in the name of jesus christ i hold the blood of jesus against any power any principality that is standing by to resist me in my prayer this morning i hold the blood of jesus christ against such power in the name of jesus christ on this prayer platform any power any principality that wants to resist to hinder our prayer this morning through the blood of jesus christ we have become over Comma. Therefore, we hold the blood of Jesus Christ against you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Because we have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus, let us declare this morning that my body is a, is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Redeemed, cleansed, and sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Redeemed, cleansed, and sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ. My members, the parts of my body, are instruments of righteousness, yielded to God for his service and for his glory. My members, the part of my body, are instruments of righteousness, yielded to God for his service and for his glory in the name of Jesus. The devil has no place in me, has no power over me. No unsettled claims against me. All has been settled by the blood of Jesus Christ. The devil has no place in me. No power over me. No unsettled claims against me. All has been settled by the blood of Jesus Christ. 
For I overcome Satan by the blood of the lamp and by the word of my testimony. And I love not my life unto death. I overcome Satan by the blood of the lamp and by the word of my testimony. And I love not my life even unto death. My body is the, for the Lord. And the Lord is for my body. My body is for the Lord. And the Lord is for my body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now let us take authority over this day. The Lord has made this day. We shall rejoice and be happy in it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us declare this is the day that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and I'll be glad in it. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. My children, my grandchildren, every member of my household. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad in it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I will rejoice and I'll be glad in it in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I command the morning to take hold of the ends of the earth and shake the wicked out of it in the name of jesus christ i command the morning to take hold of the ends of the earth shake out the wicked out of it in the name of jesus christ i command the morning and i I, I, to take hold of the ends of the earth and shake the wicked out of it in the mighty name of jesus christ in jesus name amen heavenly father let make the outgoings of the morning to rejoice in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, according to your word in Psalm 65, verse 8, that you make the outgoing of the morning to rejoice. So, Father Lord, this morning, Lord, make the outgoings of the morning to rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I receive your loving kindness, Lord, every morning, my Lord and my Father. I receive your loving kindness every morning because new every morning is your love. Oh, Father, Lord, this morning, I receive your loving kindness every morning in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Father, Lord. Release the beauty of your holiness from the womb of the morning. Lord God Almighty, this is a new day. Lord, release the beauty of your holiness from the womb of the morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord my Father, release the beauty of your holiness from the womb of the morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Oh Lord my Father, let your light break forth in my life. As the morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, let your light break forth in my life as the morning. Oh, gracious Father God, this morning, Lord, in the life of my children, my grandchildren, let your light break forth in their life as the morning, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, gracious Father God, let your light break forth in the life of our children as the morning, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Father in heaven, let your judgment come upon the enemy, morning by morning, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let your judgment come upon the enemy, morning by morning, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God Almighty, let your judgment come upon the enemy, morning by morning, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Lord and our God. Your going forth is prepared as the morning. And we pray that you will come as the rain, the latter and former rain upon the earth. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, your going forth is prepared as the morning. And we pray that you will come as the rain, the latter and former rain upon the earth. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, your going forth is prepared as the morning. And we pray, Lord, this day, Father Lord, that you will come as the rain, the latter and former rain upon the earth. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Lord, you visit me every morning. Every morning, Lord, you visit me. Lord, today also, Lord, pass me not by, Lord. 
pass me not by, Father Lord. Visit me today. I need your divine visitation. Oh Lord, my household, every member of my household needs your divine visitation. You visit us every morning. So, Father Lord, this is another day. We looking up to your visitation for your presence, oh Lord. On this prayer platform this morning, Father Lord, visit us. Visit us, oh Lord, this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because you say that wherever two or three are gathered together, in your name, there you will be. So, Father Lord, in each our homes, Lord, we unify our voice together on this Zoom line this morning. Visit us, O Lord. Visit us in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, you are waking me morning by morning. You waking my ear to hear as the learning. Yes, Father Lord, you, you are waking me morning by morning. You waking my ear to hear as the learning. And Lord, you find let my ear be open this morning, Lord, to hear your voice in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, for you are the one. You are waking me morning by morning. You waking my ear to hear as the lightning. Oh, Lord, let my ear hear your voice this morning. Let me hear your voice, O oh Lord. Do not let me hear the voice of stranger. Because, oh, Lord, you said we will not hear the voice of stranger. You will hear, we will hear your voice. So, Father, Lord, this morning, let our children hear hear your voice, O Lord. Awaken them, O Lord. Awaken their hear, O Lord, to hear you this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, that every strange voice speaking to me, speaking to my children, shut up. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every strange voice speaking to me, every strange voice speaking to my children. In the name of Jesus Christ, shut up. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. O Lord, my Father, I will not be afraid of the arrow that flies by day or the terror that comes at night. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, I will not be afraid of the arrow that that, that flies by day or the terror that comes at night in the name of Jesus Christ because you said we shouldn't be afraid. So I'm not afraid, oh Lord. Thank you, mighty Father, because no weapon fashion against me shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I will not be afraid of the arrow that flies by day or the terror that comes at night because, oh Lord, you know, weapon fashion against me shall prosper. No weapon fashion against my children shall prosper. No web of fashion against any member of my household shall prosper. Thank you, mighty Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Oh, Lord, my Father, show forth your salvation in my life from day to day. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, show forth your salvation in my life from day to day. In the name of Jesus Christ, this is another day. Lord, I look up to you. Show forth your salvation in my life from day to day, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, hallelujah, amen. Let us go to the word of God this morning. And I'm going to read from James, the book of James. I will read from chapter 3, the book of James chapter 3, this morning. I will read from verse 2. It says, we all stumble in many ways. Anyone who is never at fault in what they say is perfect and able to keep their whole body in check. When we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal or take a sheep as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boast. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue also is a fire a word of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, set the whole course of one's life on fire. I want us to underline that. And it is itself set on fire by hell. 
All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures have been tamed and have been tamed by mankind. But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of bloody poison. With the tongue, we praise our Lord and our Father. And with it, we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers and sisters, can a fig tree bear olives or a grapevine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. This morning, I'm talking about your mouth, my mouth, and the effect it has on prayer. Your mouth, the tongue, the effect it has on prayer. What you say and what you don't say are both important. Proper speech is not only saying the right words at the right time, but it is also controlling your desire to say what you shouldn't. Example of an untamed tongue include gossiping, putting others down, bragging, manipulating, false teaching, complaining, flattering, and lying. This kind of speech is motivated by Satan. See, because we're so accustomed to it, we don't know that we're being used by Satan. We don't know that it's a spirit that we're given control to control us. And because this spirit that is motivated by Satan is full of bitter envy, selfish ambition, is full of earthly concerns and desires, on spiritual thoughts and ideas, full of disorder and evil. So before you speak, ask, is what I want to say true? Is it necessary? And is it kind? So three questions to ask before you speak. Is it necessary? Must I say something? Is it necessary? Is it a kind word that I want to say? Here, Brother James compares the damage the tongue can do to a raging fire. Fire. The tongue's wickedness as a source in hellfire. The uncontrolled tongue can do terrible damage. And Satan uses the tongue to divide people and pit them against one another. Idle and hateful words are damaging because they spread destruction quickly and no one can stop the results once they are spoken. It's like a, an egg. One is broken, you cannot put it back in the shell. Yes, you can come back and say, I'm sorry, but already the scars is there. So as Christian, we must be careful our tongue, how we use it. The same tongue we use to praise God. And Brother Jim said, with it we cause human beings who have been made in God's likeness. We put down people you know, with our words, with our action. And Brother James is saying, no, brothers and sisters, this is not the way it's supposed to be. 
we have to be intentional about how we use our tongue. And especially when you want to call ourselves prayer warrior. We cannot put other people down or curse other people and use our tongue, sweet tongue, some of us call it sweet tongue, to manipulate, to get our way. And then we come to a place of prayer, we start shouting, Lord, do, Lord, this. Mm -mm. Satan will be even laughing at us because already we have allowed his agent to take control. So you may ask the question, if no human being can control the tongue, why bother trying? Even if we may not achieve perfect control of our tongue, we can still learn enough control to reduce the damage our words can do. It is better to fight a fire than to go around setting new ones. Remember that we're not fighting the tongue's fire in our own strength. That is why we need the help of the Holy Spirit to help us, to direct us. Because you can neither control nor reverse the damage the tongue can do. It's like fire, fire. The Holy Spirit will give us increasing power to monitor and control what we say so that when we are offended, offense will come because we're still human beings. You know, they will say something that doesn't, you know, agree with you. You'll be offended. But the Spirit of God in you will remind us of God's love. And we want to react in a hateful manner. When we are criticized, the spirit will heal the heart. And we won't lash out. So that means we have to constantly submit ourselves to the spirit of God. The tongue is a fire. You see, when I was reading this, I said, the way God wants us to use the tongue, way to speak, right? And there are things we're so, to, supposed to speak to. There's something, yes, the mouth, we're supposed to use it to destroy, but not to destroy one another. The Lord Jesus Christ said, if you speak to this mountain. So most of us, we have mountain in our life. Take, for example, husband and wife, you have problem. Instead of speaking to that problem, you start finding fault with one another, putting blame on one another. But the Bible says, speak to the mountain, to that challenge that you are having. Speak to it. You have to speak to it. They can hear, they have hear. Speak to that problem, to that issue confronting you. Speak. And for you to know the, what the right word to speak, you have to read your Bible. See? Read your Bible. Know what the word of God say about that situation. And you speak it to that situation. Not to your husband, not to your children. You speak to that thing that is confronting you. We to use our mouth to speak to the issue in our life. To any mountain, to anything that needs to be moved. That you do not want. Speak. So I pray that the Lord will help us to begin to see that yes, the tongue is a fire. It can destroy. We can use it to set things ablaze, but it's not one another, not fellow human beings. Okay? But to that issue, to that problem. You can set it up this. You can bring blessing. You can bring cursing. We're not to curse one another, but rather to bless. But that issue, we can say woe to that issue, to that problem, to that infirmity. 
speak the word of God to it. And the Lord will help us. So I pray that we begin to use our mouth. This tongue is a fire. Remember, it's a fire. It's a small thing. But it can do a lot. And especially in prayer, it is a lot. It will do a lot. So let us desist from using our mouth wrongly. Turning lies and speaking evil others. Desist from slander, from blackmailing, and all kinds of filthy communication. Let no negative thoughts find a place in our hearts. Let us guard our hearts against all negative encroachments. Let us make sure that our thoughts are pure and clean before going into the place of prayer. And may the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So this morning we're going to pray. We're going to use our tongue. The way the Bible says we should use it. To paralyze the power that is standing on the way of God's glory in our life. To tear that mountain, be removed and be cast into the depth of the sea. I don't know the mountain you are facing this morning. Let us ask the Lord that, Father Lord, consecrate and sanctify my mouth. Make it fit to offer prayer and praise to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us, you know, surrender this mouth to the Lord. Lord, this morning, touch my lips with your holy fire. Lord, God Almighty, Touch my lips with your holy fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, consecrate and sanctify my mouth, O Lord. Make it fit to offer prayer and praise to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord, my Father, consecrate and sanctify my mouth. Make it fit to offer prayer and praise to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. My Father, forge my heart of iniquity and all impurity in the name of jesus christ my father purge my heart of any iniquity in the name of jesus christ oh lord my father purge my heart of any iniquity in the mighty name of jesus christ heavenly father purge my heart of any iniquity in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen amen in the name of jesus Lord, let new breakthrough skill be revived in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, new breakthrough skills be revived in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, let new breakthrough skills be revived in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, in the life of my children, let new breakthrough skills be revived in the life of my children, my grandchildren, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Oh, Lord. Lord, generate newness in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, generate newness in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, generate newness in the life of my children in the name of Jesus Christ. You are the God of new beginning. Yesterday, Lord, you told us that you will begin a new thing. So, Father, Lord, again, we're reminding you that, Lord, you will generate newness in our life, in the life of our children in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name amen oh Lord my father let my glory appear and let my mountain disappear in the name of Jesus Christ heavenly father let my glory appear and let my mountain disappear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ oh Lord my father let my glory appear and let my mountain disappear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ heavenly father let my glory appear and let my mountain disappear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, this morning I pray, let my glory appear and let my mountain disappear in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As you know that we need the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, who caught my head? 
on in my head the, my divine destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Hook my head unto my divine destiny. Hook my children said unto their divine destiny. Holy Spirit, because you are our helper. This morning I'm asking for help that you will hook my head unto my divine destiny. That you will hook my children said unto their divine destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, hook my head unto my divine destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, hook my head unto my divine destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Holy Spirit, anchor my life unto your raw power in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, anchor my life unto your raw power in the name of Jesus Christ. I need the power of the Holy Spirit in my life. Oh, Holy Spirit, this morning, anchor my life unto your raw power in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, anchor my life unto your raw power in Jesus' name. Amen. Holy Spirit, start up your deposit within me in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, start up your deposit within me in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, start up your deposit within me in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit divine, start up your deposit within me in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Holy Spirit, let my life profit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, let my life profit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit divine, this morning, take your place in my life. Take your place Please have your way in my life. Holy Spirit, have your way in my life this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, have your way in my life this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit divine. Provoke better things in my life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit divine. Provoke better things in my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit divine, provoke better things in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus. I terminate every negative appointment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, I terminate every negative appointment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, I terminate every negative appointment in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I terminate every negative appointment in the name of Jesus Christ. In the life of my children, in the, my own life, I terminate every negative appointment by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Every negative appointment this day, I terminate it for this month. I terminate it for the rest of the year. I terminate every negative appointment that I've been scheduled for me, for my family. I terminate them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This morning, Lord, let every negative prophecy against my life fall down to the ground and vanish in the name of Jesus Christ. Father and Lord, let every negative prophecy against my life, against my children's life, be in the name of Jesus, fall down to the ground and vanish, vanish in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, every negative prophecy against my life, against my children's life, whether the prophecy is against my ministry, against my career, against my business, against my marriage, against my health, in the name of Jesus, every negative prophecy against my life, in the name of Jesus Christ, fall down to the ground and vanish, vanish in Jesus' name, vanish in Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus. Every negative prophecy against my children's life, against their career, against their marriage, against their ministry, against their business, in the name of Jesus Christ, fall down to the ground, fall down to the ground and vanish in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Every negative, every satanic prophecy concerning my life, fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, every satanic prophecy concerning my life, concerning my children's life, fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, every satanic prophecy concerning my life, fall down and die. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Now you're going to begin to speak. We are going to speak. Hmm. This is the way you're going to do it. I will mention what we're going to speak with. And then you will say, I speak paralysis onto the power and activity. Take for example, 
financial embarrassment, high speed paralysis unto the power and activity of financial embarrassment in the name of Jesus Christ. That is it. It's just simple like that. Because the word of God says, if you can speak to this mountain eh, and believe in your heart, be cast into the sea and it will be so. So this morning, standing on the authority of the word of God, let us begin. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of financial embarrassment in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of financial embarrassment in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of financial embarrassment in the name of Jesus Christ. A dead account. We want to speak to dead account now. In the name of Jesus, I speak paralysis onto the powers and activities of dead accounts. In the name of Jesus, because maybe some of us are in business and there are some who account that you think that is dead. This morning, they need to revive. In the name of Jesus, because some people are hoeing you. They need to pay this day. In the name of Jesus, because I speak paralysis onto the powers and activities of dead accounts. In the name of Jesus, because I speak paralysis paralysis onto the powers and activities of dead that can't in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak paralysis onto the powers and activities of dead that can't in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus name. Amen. I speak paralysis onto the powers and activities of pow powerful bewitchment in the name of Jesus Christ. Any kind of bewitchment this morning. I speak paralysis onto the powers and activities of bewitchment in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, the head can be bewitched. The hand can be bewitched in the name of Jesus. Even a city can be bewitched. A, you know, a group can be bewitched. Remember the Galatians? They were bewitched to change from the truth to error. This morning, I speak paralysis onto the powers and activities of bewitchment in my life, in my household, in my neighborhood, in my church. I speak be paralysis onto the powers and activities of bewitchment in the name of Jesus Christ in the life of my children. I speak paralysis onto the powers and activities of bewitchment in the name of Jesus Christ in the life of my grandchildren. I speak paralysis onto the powers and activities in the name of Jesus of bewitchment in the name of Jesus. Marriage can be bewitched. This morning, speak paralysis onto the powers and activities of bewitchment in our marriages in the name of Jesus. Christ, I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of bewitchment in Jesus' name. Amen. Spiritual blindness. I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of spiritual blindness in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, in my life, in the life of my children. I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of spiritual blindness in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of spiritual blindness in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. Prophet starvation. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are in that business. You are just getting, you know, breaking evil, even every every time. You know, it just I uh, just get by. You know that much profits can come in. This morning, I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of profit starvation in the name of Jesus Christ. It's not only in business; it can be in ministry. It can be in your career. This morning, I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of profit starvation in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of profit starvation in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of profit starvation in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Licking pockets. You have the money, but it's just going somewhere you don't know. It, this month is another problem. Next month is another problem. The money is just coming in. Yes, you have the money, but the way you are spending it, you know, it's not what you plan for. This morning, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of licking pockets. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of licking pockets. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of licking pockets. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. I speak paralysis. 
this is multiple covenants stubborn covenants now in the name of jesus christ i speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of multiple stubborn covenants in the name of jesus christ there are some covenants that you do not even know that you have entered into this morning i speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of multiple stubborn covenants in the name of jesus christ because the blood of jesus christ has made a better covenant this morning i speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of stubborn covenant in our life in the life of our children in the name of jesus christ i speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of multiple stubborn covenant that is operating in my household in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen hidden and clever devourers hidden and clever devourers this morning i speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of hidden and clever devourers in the name of jesus christ hidden and clever devourers in the name of jesus christ they devour oh in the name of jesus in my household in my neighborhood in my church this morning i speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of hidden and clever devourers in the name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus i speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of feeding and clever devourers in the name of jesus christ i speak paralysis unto you in jesus name amen hmm. i speak paralysis unto the long-standing and resistant infirmity in the name of jesus christ this infirmity will never go here they refuse to go this morning speak paralysis unto that that infirmity in the name of jesus christ i speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of long-standing and resistant infirmities i speak paralysis unto you in the name of jesus christ in any life on this prayer platform this morning any long-standing and resistant infirmity that you, you know you'll be going through it for years now and you cannot get over it this morning i speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of long-standing and resistant infirmity i speak paralysis unto you in the name of jesus christ because the lord jesus christ said that if you can speak to this mountain and believe in your heart and do not doubt that be removed and be cast into the sea it will be so and i believe this morning according to the word of god that I speak, I speak unto you, you long standing and resistant infirmity. I speak paralysis unto you this morning. In the name of Jesus, your power and activities that is do going long standing and resistant infirmity. I speak paralysis unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. Satanic exams in the dream. In the dream, you just sit yourself sitting down, taking an exam. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of satanic exams in the dream. In the name of Jesus Christ, in my own life, in my children's life, I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of satanic exams in the dream. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of satanic exams in the dreams. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, Amen. About cat and mouse marriage. This morning, that is not how marriage should be. If you know your marriage is not going the way it's supposed to be, this morning, speak paralysis unto that. Cat and mouse marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of cat and mouse marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the life of my children, I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of cat and mouse marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak paralysis unto the cat and mouse marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ, in every Christian home this morning, I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of cat and mass marriage in the name of jesus christ in the life of our children that are married this morning i speak paralysis unto the powers of activities of cat and mass marriage in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen How about stagnancy whether it's spiritual or in your spirit whatever it is this morning speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of stagnation 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of stagnation in the name of Jesus Christ. Spiritual stagnancy in the name of Jesus. Business stagnancy in the name of Jesus. I speak paralysis unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Ministry stagnancy. I speak paralysis unto you this morning. I speak paralysis unto the powers that is behind it and the activities of spiritual stagnancy in my life, in the life of my children. I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of spiritual stagnancy in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak paralysis unto the to the powers and activities of spiritual stagnancy in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. About prayer paralysis, eh? they will not let you pray. Prayer paralysis, I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of prayer paralysis in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of prayer paralysis in Jesus' name. I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of prayer paralysis in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Vagabond anointing, I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of vagabond anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of vagabond anointing in the life of my children, in the life of my grandchildren. I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of vagabond anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak paralysis into the powers, unto the authority of the powers and activities of vagabond anointing in Jesus' name. Amen. Children polluters. <laughs> Children polluters, I speak paralysis. And unto the powers and activities of children polluters in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, by the authority in the word of God. I speak paralysis unto the powers and, uh, and activities of children polluters in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of children polluters in the name of Jesus Christ, whether through TV or through school or through whatever form it is, they are polluting our children. This morning, I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of children polluters in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. I speak paralysis unto total sense anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. You will get there if you're just taking it slow. This morning. I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of tortoise and snails anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of tortoise and snail anointing in my life, in the life of my children. I speak paralysis unto it in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Demonic delay of my miracles. <laughs> the Lord has done it, you know, but the as a priest, a prince of Persia, of prince, prince of Texas, if that is where you are, that is withholding it this morning. Any power, any activity that is holding my miracle this morning, every demonic delay of my miracles, I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of demonic delay of miracles in Jesus' name, in my life, in my children, in my ministry, in my business. I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of demonic delay of miracles in the name of Jesus in our household in the name of Jesus I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of demonic delays of miracles in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name amen I want you to speak paralysis unto the spirit of rejection in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of spirit of rejection I speak paralysis unto you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak paralysis unto this powers and activities of spirit of rejection. I speak paralysis unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak paralysis unto the spirit of rejection in the life of my children, my grandchildren in the name of Jesus. I speak paralysis unto the spirit of rejection in the name of Jesus Christ by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak paralysis unto the power and activities of rejection in our life, in our children's life this morning in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. About evil diversion this morning. Hey, 
any power that is diverting my children's in the good the goodness in the name of Jesus. I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of evil diversion in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of evil diversion. I speak paralysis unto you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. On this prayer platform, any power that is diverting the goodness that God has here marked for us this morning, I speak paralysis unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power and activities of evil diversion, I speak paralysis unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. I speak paralysis unto witchcraft barrier in the name of Jesus Christ. Witchcraft barrier of my virtue, witchcraft barrier of my star. This morning, any witchcraft barrier, this morning, I speak paralysis unto you because the word of God says, If I can say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and I believe in my heart, and no, no doubt it shall be so. Therefore, I believe this morning, as I speak paralysis unto you, you will be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Every witch can bury of my virtues, every witch can bury of my children virtues. I speak paralysis unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every witch can bury, I speak paralysis unto the powers and activities of witch can bury of our virtues, of our children virtues in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak paralysis unto you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now, I receive power to fulfill my positive prophecies in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive power to fulfill my positive prophecies in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, let the power for to fulfill the positive prophecies for my children. Let the power come upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive power to fulfill my positive prophecies in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus name, Amen. Oh Lord my Father, let my positive prophecies begin to speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, let my positive prophecies begin to speak in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Let it begin to speak in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it begin to speak in the life of my children in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, let the positive begin to speak in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Before we round it up, let us confess the word of God again. You know, the word of God is when you confess it, it is powerful in the name of Jesus. Let us repeat after me that the light of God is in me. Darkness cannot abide in me and cannot overshadow me. The light of God shall be seen over me and all I shall see it together in the name of Jesus Christ. The light of God is in me. Darkness cannot abide in me and cannot overshadow me. The light of God shall be seen over me, and all I shall see it together in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I shall no longer be disappointed, nor faint at the edge of my desired miracle and success and victory in the name of Jesus. I shall no longer be disappointed, nor fail at the edge of my desired miracles, success and victory in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. My heart is from now comforted for the God of suddenly provision and grace is still on the throne. My heart is from now comforted for the God of suddenly provision and grace is still on the throne. Hallelujah. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.